In this lecture, we are going to talk about evaluation of prefix and postfix expressions. See, I have already uploaded a video on evaluation of postfix expression. In that video, I have discussed evaluation of postfix expression using stack, right? In this video, I will discuss both method without using stack as well as using stack how you can evaluate prefix and postfix expressions, right? Now, see, I am taking suppose this as our infix expression. Now you have to, I am going to convert it into prefix expression. That thing also I have discussed in the previous video, how to convert infix to prefix. So you can check out that video in the side button, right? I am directly write, writing this, uh, the prefix form of this infix expression, right? And here the values of this, these variables are, I have written here, fine. Now see the prefix expression for this infix expression would be what? So now this is what the prefix notation of this infix and I have here substituted the value of these variables, right? So now this is our prefix expression and now you have to evaluate this one. You need to find out a value for this one. See, what is prefix, infix and postfix expression? That thing also I have discussed in the previous video, one of the previous videos. So you can check out that video in the side button. Prefix means how you denote the prefix notation. First of all, you will write operator, then operand and here again operand. Right. This is operator, this is one operand, this is another operand. See here we are discussing specifically about binary operators. Binary operator means exactly they needs two operands. Fine. Now the first step to evaluate this expression is what? Without stack I am going to discuss first. Right. Scan this expression from right to left. In case of prefix we scan it from right to left and in case of postfix we scan the expression from left to right. Right. Now scan it from right to left and find out the first operator. So while scanning the first operator is this one. After this operator find out the two operand immediately next to this operand. So after this operand first after this operator first operand is 2 another operand is 3. It means we or, or you can say you have to find out this pattern operator and operand and operand, right? Once you find out this pattern, you can evaluate that thing, fine. So while scanning first operator is this one, find out just after this operator, the two operand, one is this one, one is this one. So for this operator, you can say these are two operands, fine. So this is our in, sorry, prefix expression, right? You can say within this prefix, one pre prefix is this one. So first of all evaluate this one. Now how to evaluate this one? See for this, for this, see this the first operand. How you will write? The first operand, then the operator and then the second operand. Means in infix form, it this prefix means this one 2 raised to power 3. This is power. 2 raised to power 3 means 8, right? So here what you will write down? 8. After evaluation, this would become 8. So now the expression is something like this. Fine. For this, I have written 8. Right? I have evaluated this one. Now, again, find again scan from right to left and find out the first operator. So while scanning from right to left, now the first operator is this divide. Fine. Now, if your this prefix expression is valid, then definitely you will get two operand after this. Maybe two or three, three, four more operands can be there. But you need to find out next two, immediate next two. Suppose here one and two is also there or you can say two and three are also there. But for this, how you are going to evaluate this one? For this operator, the operand would be this one and this one. Just immediate next two. We are not, we will not consider the, these one, right? So here now, for this case, this is first for this operator, this is one operand, this is another operand. So now, how you can write this thing? 16 divided by 8. Now, the value of this one is 16 divided by 8. 8 is what? 2. So now the expression would become this one. 3, 4. And for this one, you can write down value 2. Now, another scan. In another scan, you find out from right to left, this is the first operator. Now for this operator, see. Operands are, two operands are the next two, immediate next two means this one and this one. We will not consider two. This thing you need to take care. 
fine now here this is our prefix one asterisk three and four now for this one to evaluate this one this is actually three into four means first operand then operator you will put then four means here you will write twelve so now the your expression would become two here we have twelve and here again we have two right now another scan the first from right to left the first operator is plus now find out the immediate next two operands. One is two, one is twelve, right? So for this one, this is a now prefix. So how to evaluate this one? Two plus twelve. First operand, then this operator, then this twelve. Means it becomes fourteen. So the now the expression is this operator, then fourteen, then two. See if your expression, this prefix expression is not valid. In that case, you will not. Uh, find maybe sometimes you will not find two operands after a operator if this is the case then you can say your expression is not valid right now here this is the operator this is first operand this is another operand so now it means 14 minus 2 that is 12 so now the answer is 12 without stack you have uh, evaluated this prefix expression but in this case the problem is what you, you are you have to scan this expression multiple times in one scan I got this value that is uh, that 8 value in another scan for this divide you have evaluated another scan then another scan something like this fine so this is you can say time consuming process now another thing is I want in one scan only I want to evaluate the prefix expression I need to scan only once this expression from right to left and I get the value 12 now that thing you can do with stack now how you will evaluate this prefix expression using stack that thing we will discuss now so now this is the stack i have taken fine you have to create a stack right now first step is start scanning the in prefix expression from right to left and now if you found you find the operand then simply push that operand into the stack right so now see start scanning first of all we have three this is operand simply push it into the stack again two this is also operand simply push it into the stack next is what operator now you need to do what now you need to pop out two operands from the stack two values from the stack means top of the stack and next element to the top also two element you need to pop out so now first of all pop out this two so you can say in operand one i have two and next three in operand two i have three only two operand you need to pop out it, it at this time only two operand we have but suppose here five operands are there in that case also the top element and next to the top element these two operand you need to pop out just two elements right now see how you will evaluate now you can do operand one then the operator you find means here operator and here operand 2 operand 1 is 2 operator is this one and operand 2 is 3 so evaluate this one the value is this is power so 2 raised to power 3 means 8 right and after evaluation this value you need to push this value into the stack right so we have popped out this one this one and now we have pushed 8 here fine now after that after this we have 16 this is operand simply push it after this we have again operator right so now what you need to do pop out two operands the top and the next top now now see in the operand 1 i have 16 in operand 2 i have 8 right now how to do 16 operator is divide and 8 this thing operate operand 1 operator and operand 2 now the value is 2 and push this value into the stack so now we have popped out this one also this one also simply push this two here now in stack i have only one element next is four this is operand push it into the stack next is three this is operand push it into the stack next is asterisk so you can say multiplication right now pop out the two operand now in this case see operand one is three means this you need to pop out then next operand two is four three we have popped out Four we have popped out right this is now the top of the stack right how we are going to perform push and pop operation that thing also we have discussed i have already discussed what is stack and data structure in detail you can check out the playlist fine 
now see the operator is this one so 3 into 4 that is 12 simply push this 12 the result into the stack that is here we push 12 after this we have 2 this is operand simply push it into the stack after this we have plus this is what operator now you need to do what push 2 operand first operand would be 2 second operand would be 12 now operator is plus so what you need to do 2 plus 12 evaluate this one that is 14 and push this result into the stack that is 14 after this we have minus this is also operator no need to push anything now pop out the two operands from the stack now operand 1 is 14 operand 2 is 2 right and perform this one that is 14 minus 2 that is 12 and push this 12 into the stack right now see we are reached to the end of the expression fine now there is nothing now in this case at this point of time if there is only one value in the stack means that is valid prefix expression and you have evaluated that prefix expression correctly now see in the stack i have only one value one element so simply return this value return the top of the stack because at this time this is the top of the stack so now the answer would be 12 right and now the stack becomes empty as you can see using stack also we have found the same answer right so you can use stack also you can evaluate this one without stack also but in this case the compiler need to scan the expression only once right and in that case without stack the compiler need to scan the expression multiple times right so that is time consuming process but manually you can evaluate this without using stack programmatically when you evaluate this thing then we use stack so now the algorithm for this thing is c so this is the algorithm first step is scan the prefix expression from right to left right you can write down here a for loop that is for i is equal to from length minus 1 to 0 till then you are going to scan that expression fine for each character in the prefix expression what you need to do in a loop you will write if operand is there what we have done simply push it on onto the stack if operator is there in that case pop two elements o operand operator sorry the operand one is top element operand two is next two top elements fine and now what you will do operand one operator operand two and you will store this result into a variable any variable you can take here i am taking result and push this result onto the stack right and you are going to repeat these steps fine because this you are going to write down in a loop from length minus one to zero once the i value becomes 0, simply you will return the stack top. This is it. This is the algorithm. Now we will see manually how you will evaluate a postfix expression. Right? We have already discussed using stack how you can evaluate that, that thing. The same example I am taking. This is the example. This is the postfix expression for this infix expression. How to convert infix to postfix. That thing also I have discussed. You can check out that video in the side button. Right? After conversion, this is the postfix expression and after substituting the value for these variable, now this is the postfix expression. Now you have to find out the value of this one. You have to evaluate this one. Now postfix means the that pattern would be operand, operand and here operator. Binary operator I am talking about means operand, operand and after that operator. For this operator, these two are the operands, right? Now, in this case, you need to scan it from left to right only. Almost same algorithm we have, evaluation of prefix and postfix. This is what evaluation of postfix I am discussing here, right? Now, see, scan it from left to right and find out the first operator. As soon as you find out the first operator, that is, we have found asterisk here without stack I am discussing here, right? Now, you need to find out this pattern. Find out the two preceding operand for this operator. Two preceding, right? It, it does not mean that here we have three operands, so you can take two or three. No, immediate previous two operand you need to find out. This pattern you need to find out. Operator, so this is the operator, this is one operand, this is another operand you can say, fine. So now, here you can say operand one we have three and operand two we have 4 right now this case means 3 into 4 
this is actually something like this you need to evaluate this one 3 into 4 that is 12 so you have to substitute here 12 means now the expression would be 2 here we have 12 then plus then 16 then 2 3 this one then divide and then minus right again in the next scan the first operator you find is plus now find out this pattern if the expression is valid then everywhere you will find out this pattern till you get one value only fine now see before this plus one operand is this one one is this one it means this is the expression now postfix expression so it means here we have 2 plus 12 2 plus 12 means 14 here you will write 14 here we have 16 2 3 this this and this this is the expression now now another scan again compiler will scan this and the first operator is this one now for this operator immediate previous two operands one is this one one is this one means this one now it, it means 2 raised to power 3 2 raised to power 3 means 8 so now the expression would be 14 16 here you will write 8 divide and minus again in another scan the first operator you find is this one for this operator this is the operand this is the operand. operand operand 1 is this one operand 2 is this one now it means 16 divide by 8 means 2 here you will write 14 2 and minus now in another scan the first operator is minus now for this operator find out the previous two operands immediate previous one is this one one is this one right now 14 and 2 it means 14 minus 2 that is 12 and now we got 12 the answer is same because we are we are taking the same expression right so now this is how you can evaluate the postfix expression without using stack if stack uh, you use that is also a very simple see briefly i'm talking about from left to right start scanning if operand you will find push it into the stack means here we have two simply push it into the stack next is three simply push it into the stack next is four simply push it into the stack next is multiplication now you need to pop out two elements from the stack right but here the slight difference from the evaluation of prefix is what here when you pop out this four it means it is operand two not operand one the next element is operand one that is three so actually you are going to do what now you are going to do operand one here the operator and operand two right but in that case you remember when you pop out this thing then this would be operator one and this would be sorry this would be operand one this would be operand two but here the thing are different slight difference is this thing only this would be operand two this one and this would be operand one just reverse right means here three into four operator is this one three into four and here also here also same thing we have done that is 12 see in multiplication there would be no problem if you write 4 into 3 or 3 into 4 but in case of divide it would create a problem so you need to take care of these rules in case of minus also it would create a problem now see simply push this result here means 12 so simply push this 12 here now next is plus this is also operator so pop out 2 operand so here in this case now operand 2 is what 12 operand 1 is what 2 so now operand 1 that is 2 operator is plus and here we have 12 means 14 so here i have written what 14 fine now see so simply push this 14 here because we have popped out these two now we have 14 here 16 simply push the 16 here next we have 2 simply push this if operator operand is there simply push that next is 3 this is also operand simply push it now next is exponent now pop out 2 operand 2 element from the stack here operand 2 would be 3 and operand 1 would be 2 so now do operand 1 operator operand 2 means 2 operator is this one 2 raised to power 3 that is 8 and simply push that result into the stack means we have popped out 3 and 2 and now 8 you are going to push next is divide same pop out 2 operand from here so now in this case operand 2 would be 8 operand 1 would be 16 
we have popped out these things. Now put out, uh, put here operand 1 is 16, 16 operators divide, it is 8. So 8 divided by, sorry 16 divided by 8 is, 8 is 2, push that result here. Next is minus, pop out this one, again 2 operand from the stack. Now operand 2 is 2 and operand 1 is 14. Now here simply push operand 1 is 14, operator is minus, here we have 2 and simply push that here. Now we have reached till the end of the expression. Now if in the stack I have only one value and here you can see here, here we have only one value. Now return the top of the stack that is 12 you are going to return means the result is 12 and we have found the same result. So I guess algorithm you can easily write down or for algorithm you can check out this video in the i button. See we can also represent this infix expression into a tree form, binary tree form. How we are going to represent this thing into a tree form, how you can create that expression tree, that thing we will discuss in the next video. So I will see you in the next video, till then bye bye, take care.